Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Majin playing League of Legends. That's right, we're gonna show you another game of League of Legends because why the hell not? And mostly to get back into things. If you're wondering, where's been the gunslinger or where's been you doing amnesia? <coughs> you hear that? <coughs> Sorry, that's where um, everything has been. I've been sick. So unless you wanted all characters in... Um, the gunslinger to sound very very nasally I decided not to do them amnesia basically was <coughs> the same thing I was gonna be like uh, where is the puzzle how can I do the puzzle oh, <coughs> what can I do there so yeah and here we go we have a little bit of rumble we toss a little bit of damage there onto rumble but rumble just teleports out so yeah me and Jujikas are happy that we got rid of flash which is Pretty, pretty decent, pretty, pretty good. We got rid of Flash early game, which is really good. So, obviously, since he, we know that he has no escape methods, we're gonna try and attack him. My plan is to come in from the side brush, come in from behind, and do some very, very nice damage to Rumble. He's a very tanky hero, if you will, so he can withstand, especially since the new patches and new talent trees allow for a very, <laughs> very... Um, <coughs> sorry. Very different customization of heroes at least for a little while until the optimal talents are discovered for each hero but even then you probably will have options I mean you can have a decrit damage a decrit uh, chance a de jungler uh, a peak jungler AP lots of AP support there are a lot of things you can do with the talents right now I'm not gonna discuss the patch changes I'm not a pro I basically play what I want, so yeah. <coughs> right now, I, uh, we're just gonna try and fight Rumble. Uh, we're also playing with Misfortune and our new hero, Fizz. And there's Rumble, there's Rumble. We're waiting on him to attack, we're waiting. There we go, now I know that he's checked the brush, so he knows that I'm not in there. He might think that I've gone away. He goes for Jijikus, he gets exhausted. Here I go, bam, 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 bam. Hit the guy, there's a slow, there's a slow. <laughs> Toss another ignite, he might get away, I follow him, because I don't think the ignite will kill him, and I flash out, but sadly the tower gets me, but I get executed. No experience for the opponent's zinc player, I get first blood, <coughs> so yay for me. That's uh, more gold for me, M more gold for me, no gold for him, uh, sadly we did lose misfortune on the bottom lane thanks to their jungler, which is Olaf. And yeah, very good start. Very good, good, good start. Tower diving at level 1. This is what you should see in pro level play because it makes the game a lot more interesting. Tower diving at level 1. A lot of people... Oh, I had a game where somebody called me stupid for tower diving at level 1. Excuse me? I got the first blood. Does it matter? It's better than to lose first blood in a situation where you don't get a kill. I got a kill, he got a kill, but I got first blood. It is my advantage. <coughs> so yeah. Uh, the reason I'm showing you this game is because somebody decided to be a whiny little baby. The question is, will it be one of the guys on my team or will it be somebody on theirs? We'll see, we'll see. So far everything is going nice. Uh, a whiny little baby is actually... I'm, I'm a whiny little baby because of the changes. I currently complain. I usually get, get kills with Malphite. In this game, not so much. Ever since the past patch changes, I I don't get kills. <coughs> I'm I'm basically becoming a tank support, uh, just like you know. Basically, very little kills and lots of um, lots of assists, and I don't like that. I usually have the same amount of kills as I have with assists, and yeah, we're playing normal. By the way, this is not ranked. We're just enjoying ourselves. So I hit level two. We have a level four Trindamir. There we go, hitting him a little bit, just doing a little bit of damage. There's no point in actually diving him since we don't have ignite. I don't have ultimate. We know that he doesn't have flash. <coughs> <coughs> as I said, that's one of the main reasons I'm not doing the gunslinger right now. Imagine that. Let, let me see. Yeah, where's, the, where's the book? There's the book. Right now, there's nothing to say. Here comes Olaf. We're jumping in. We're jumping in. We're hitting. We're hitting. It. And look at this. Look, so close. So close. I toss in one last Q. Does not get the kill. I run. Trindamir does brilliantly of escaping Olaf right here. There we go. Nice jump. But sadly, I'm going in to try and get the slow. Sadly, the axe hits. 
I use the slow and I run away. I don't think I managed to get away from here. Olaf uses, I believe he used Ghost Walk there and he chases me. There's no point. I slow him again, but yeah. And I get killed. Because well, all he needs is one axe throw and there it is. I was too close to actually dodge it. And double kill for them. Yes. Again, begging the question, who will be the whiny baby in this match? The whiny little baby. Will it be somebody on their team or will it be one of our team? So yeah. Uh, I'm forced actually here to buy a wor word. So before we kick off to more action, let's see how exactly would it be fun. How would it be if I read something? Let's see. I'll just open the book randomly. There we go. He thought Brown had fallen asleep. <coughs> no. The fire was down to no more than a spark, and the bird Zoltan had put his head under <coughs> his wing. Yes, that would be margin reading right now. So take a wild guess why I'm not doing it. Even this video, I'm not exactly happy to put it out with you hearing me cough, but hey, it's better than nothing, right? And uh, there we go, have a little ward, we're a little bit protected, and I'm sadly level 2. We have turned to level 4, so is um, uh, level 4 also for Rumble. Rumble's a very dangerous hero, very, very, very much potential for burst, but since he's facing very two annoying heroes right now, myself and Krimimir, Especially if he's melee, uh, melee, melee. He needs to stand back, so he loses a little bit of HP. He doesn't get that much, that good farm. So we managed to keep him back, but he still has a lot of potential for burst damage, especially considering that he's going for magic damage, and I don't have that magic damage. And he's running away. There we go. His flash fuse. Here comes Olaf, but this time we decide not to jump it. Cardus is level 6. We do yell for an ulti, but as you can see, he has no mana. On the bottom lane, we do have Misfortune and Fizz fighting a Caitlyn and Fizz, if I'm not mistaken. Their jungler is probably the most annoying player on their team. Very, very good play by Olaf, but yeah. No, very good play, and the fact that right now, because of the, all the talent changes, um, apparently I'm not as tanky as I want to be. I'll fiddle around with talents a little bit more to be more tanky, uh, to try and reach the level I was before the new talents, but right now, <coughs> it gets a little bit um, getting used to for that minute um, differences in team fights. And here we go, we fight a little bit, we go right into Olaf right there, because why not? There we go, we take all his life, a couple of crits from Trindamir, he's ignited, he gets another crit, running away, I slow him, and here we have, oh my god, here comes Twisted Fate to jump after us, we're running, we're running, there is the ultimate from Karthus, but sadly does not get the kill on Rumble because of the shield, very nice indeed, but we didn't die and we did manage to kill the jungler, so very nice indeed for us, I want to reach level 6 so I can use my unstoppable force, but it's gonna be a while, as you can see right now I'm just trying to farm a little bit, and try to keep Twisted Fate, but Twisted Fate is full HP, maybe low mana, but since neither of us is level 6, we don't really want to jump in there. We're just gonna continue our farm. Bottom lane, we have Caitlyn doing a very well job. I've, I've noticed that since the patch, a lot of people use potions. A lot of people did use potions before, but now everybody just 5-6 potions early game. <sighs> did I miss something? <laughs> Did I miss something? Did, is the age of the potion upon us? Oh sure, a lot of people take one or two, but everybody's just spamming potions now. But doesn't really matter. So yeah, Trindamir is level 6, I'm level 5, sadly very very low level 5, because I am falling a little bit behind. As you can see, no whiny babies as of yet in the chat. I wonder if I push enter, yes I can actually see the chat, no whiny babies in the chat yet. Except me, because I'm <laughs> pissed off that I don't get kills, <laughs> and that the fact that uh, for the last couple of games we've been fighting champions with shields, and it's very been very annoying to get the kill. They've always escaped with very, 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 very little HP. Very little. Oh, crap, crap, I zoomed out, didn't I? Uh, I believe that's the right um, distance, I believe. So, we're just running around here, waiting for me to get a level 6. <laughs> Another kill on the bottom lane, sadly. Fizz is gonna get away. Caitlyn eats a tower shot, but yeah, nothing we can't do for the bottom lane. So we continue to fight, fight, fight on the up lane. 
so as you can see just trying to spam a little bit on uh, rumble keep him behind uh, there's another da uh, jump in there another kill so the bottom lane is not doing so uh, well we're not doing so well it's three kills to six kills on the team bases luckily we do have a uh, two well actually we have a one 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 ratio on Trendamir and I have a one two one ratio which is not a good not that good but finally I have unstoppable force right now I don't care if I get ganked <coughs> I have flash and unstoppable force. That means mm, pretty much it's gonna be hard to stop me, especially without silences. If you have a silence, you can stop me. But if you don't, I'm just flash and ultimate force. That's double flash. Flash has been nerfed, mind you. Flash has been nerfed. As you can see, the uh, the distance is much lower than it used to be. Much, much lower. Uh, it's very, very little. And here comes Rumble to fight after me. Will I go in for the kill? Because Nope, because Trinamir decides to go from behind. But yeah, I wait a, wait a while. Trinamir gets into position, plants a little bit ward there. I wonder if it's warded. Is the brush warded? Will Rumble attack me? Well, I'm in position to be attacked. So, here we go. Here we go, there's Rumble, running away a bit, unstoppable force, using everything I can, flashing out of Rumble's ulti, and he dies. And he dies, just, just like that. He does take a little bit of health from me, but yeah, what what's gonna happen? Olaf gonna run in, nope, we have ward. Twisted Fate gonna run in, nope, I'm too close to the tower for him to actually manage to catch me. And with Trindamir full health without using his ulti, doesn't matter. Here comes Olaf again. And very big damage from Olaf right there. Will Olaf, Olaf manages to get the kill, but Karthus manages to get the kill back, which means Karthus manages to keep a double buff and manages to keep a kill. Very nice for Karthus indeed to come back to the lane with a double buff. So I go back to the up lane. We're doing a little bit of damage to the turret. No worries, no rumble. Things are almost back on top, almost 6-6. Six uh, six to seven right now. Bottom lane is doing fairly well, pushing. The jungler is dead, so they should be careful right now. Uh, Kaylin here is a friend of mine. He just bought the hero, so don't expect epic play for him. Basically, don't ex expect epic play from any Fizz hero because, well, he just came out. If you have someone that says, "Oh my God, you don't know how to play Fizz," nobody does. He came out today. Nobody does. Everybody's practicing. So tossing a little bit of a Q shard, a seismic shard right there in his face. As you can see, did a lot of damage to him. Um, it's something that I noticed. I have a lot more potential for damage, but I'm not as tanky as I'd like to be, which is sadly not 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 something I'm very happy with. So yeah. We're waiting here. I'm waiting for the ulti, but I don't want to come in. Olaf's been missing, and there's always the possibility of a Twisted Fate ulti. And there is Kothos doing a little bit of damage to Twisted Fate. Does not get the kill. So now we're just waiting for the kill. Now we're just waiting for the jump in. Do we jump in? We're waiting on Olaf. We do have the ward, so no problem. There it is, and I missed the ulti. Sadly, I missed the ulti, but he is going to go down. I just missed that ulti. I was retarded for missing that ulti and there comes Olaf but now we're full health I may not have the ulti but Trindamir has and I'm almost full health he's all full health there's no chance Olaf can actually kill us in this position so I just seismic shot for a little bit of movement speed Kalini getting the kill on a fizz uh, on another fizz downstairs so it's basically fizz versus fizz fizz in my pants yeah I had to do that joke sorry and we're just farming as you can see no problem for now, for now, we're finally on the positive, so things are looking up. Things are looking up. Karthus is positive, I'm positive, am I positive? I don't know if I'm... No, I'm negative, but Trindamir is positive, and there comes Olaf, trying to do a little bit of damage to me. I seismic shard him and run away, because of the movement speed that I stole, and woohoo! Stealing movement speed for the win! 49 seconds to ultimate, no real reason to jump in there. <laughs> But I do manage to spam Seismic Shard and there he goes, coming in there, using that Ignite. Does he get away? Oh my god, here comes... And he does get away and we actually do end up dying here, both of us. But Olaf manages to die as well, so Trinomir gets another kill. Sadly, he did give... Uh, he got a Rampage, which means he did feed a little bit more. But another kill for Karthus, because that's what Karthus does. Karthus ultis and manages to steal kills or do a lot of damage. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, a lot of damage. Uh, so we didn't lose there. So 
I'm going for Glacial Shroud. Right now, I'm not playing optimally, and I'm not even playing optimally comp compared to my build. I'm going for a lot of armor first, which is not good, considering that we're fighting two magic damage... Uh, um, magic damage... Um, heroes. I'm sorry. I'm still sick. I'm still sick, and it's sometimes hard to concentrate. Um, this is a, play, uh, a moment in the game that I'd like to uh, focus your attention. 15 minutes in. So for about 15 minutes of the game... We've been fighting a Rumble and an Olaf. That's it. That's what Trindamir has been fighting. That's what I have been fighting. Nothing much as yet. Lanes have pretty much stayed in their lanes. Olaf has been trying to jungle us so he can help Rumble. Uh, to gank us so he can help Rumble. But so far, so good. Everything for about 15 minutes of the first game. We've just been fighting each other. No team fights. No big team fights. No misses. So everything has been going... Okay, keep that in mind, because it involves the baby. Okay. So Rumble's using all his AoE damage, and look at that AoE and farming capabilities at the end of the day. Just taking everything out. So that is a lot of gold for Rumble. Let's see at the minion kill for Rumble. 58. He doesn't have that much because we've been keeping him behind, but he has a lot of farm capability. I eat a, um, I eat a harpoon there, but I am in position, and using that seismic shard just... We don't want to jump him again because I don't know where Olaf is, and yeah, it's a little bit dangerous. I toss another seismic shot. Just do a little bit of damage, just a little bit of harass. There's Karthus fighting Fizz, and he gets ignited. Fizz manages to dodge something. Oh my god, another heal for Karthus, and he actually does manage to get the kill and get away with about half HP, if this is actually right. So there we go, we're fighting here. I believe I use the ulti there. I use the ulti. And we do get the kill. Here comes Twisted Fate. Oh my god. Um, Trindamir dies to the tower. I use Flash to get away. Twisted Fate has no chance of hitting me. He is an AP hero. So we're fighting a lot of magic damage. And I'm being stupid and not getting some magic resist. And uh, picking a little bit on Trindamir for not using his ultimate. Even though he had it. Apparently the tower hit him and he didn't know what to do. So, meanwhile we do have Olaf on the ground floor. Doing a little bit of damage and spamming a little bit. Uh, with Caitlyn, and that means that they can harass K uh, Misfortune and Fizz, and uh, possibly open up a possibility for Misfortune to use a no uh, for uh, Caitlyn to use an ultimate on one of the heroes. They're both about half HP right now, so no worries about that. Meanwhile, I'm back in lane. Uh, by, actually, I didn't even leave the lane, if I'm not mistaken. So just farming, have a little bit of gold. Leave now. Uh, we're going for the blue buff. This is where I actually get pissed off at Karthus, if I remember. We're going for the blue, bu blue buff. I want the blue buff. I want to have a little bit of mana control. And Karthus decides it's a good idea for him to take it. It is a good idea for ca for the middle caster to take it. But still, we didn't call him. We didn't tell him, hey, dude, come take it. I want it. Nope. He just came in here and took it. Ah. <sighs> Sadly. And I'm a little bit pissed off, because if I had that, I would have had ulti, I would have been able just to go in and fight. But no, I have to go back to base to <laughs> regain some mana. And there's a... Oh my god, there's Chum the Waters. And there's a lot, big attack on our uh, on our team, and very nice kill. Does Karthus manage to get a kill? One kill and double kill right there on Caitlyn and Olaf. Very nice timing for... For Karthus. Very, very nice. And what's this? Olaf is crying? Olaf? You mean Olaf? The one that you usually run and hit? Run and hit? So we're going here after Fizz. Uh, Fizz actually manages to get away. Does he manage to get away? I don't know. Does no? I believe Karthus does manage to get the kill. And I didn't even have to use my ulti there. So very nice indeed. Very nice indeed he do. Uh, so yeah, Olaf uh, Olaf is actually complaining that somebody's a one-button champ. Trindamir doing a little bit of damage under the tower. Advantage being Trindamir, you can tower dive without being worried. Look, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna hit you, and I'm gonna take five more champs. Five more uh, hits from the tower, just because I can. I'm just farming a little bit right now. The game is... Uh, game is... A little bit slow, as you can see right now. There's nothing to talk about. So now Olaf and Fizz are going to engage into a large debate while their heroes require skill and Karthus does not. Anybody that's ever seen games with Karthus knows that Karthus is hard to play. It's hard to hit his ult... Um, well, not his ulti, but his bombs. It's hard to hit a lot of his abilities. Karthus is a hard hero to play. His 
ultimate is not necessarily to kill to kill things. His ultimate is usually to either damage their entire team or pick off stragglers, which is good. That's what it used to. So here we go. We're going after Caitlyn right here. He gets some very nice from Caitlyn. I use the ulti. Very nice flash from her. Very nice flash. I was hoping to get her. She manages to get away. Trindamir comes back, runs in, comes back. I have no idea what Trindamir is doing. Manages to get one kill. Sadly, I die. But this does mean that Trindamir gets a little bit of a double kill right there because of his very, very high damage crits. So very nice. Two kills for one. Karthus and Misfortune coming up. What do we have here? Oh, there's an Olaf end of his. I believe Olaf will die there. Olaf, nope. Olaf <laughs> actually manages to get away. We do have a exhaust on Fizz and there, well, the entire team. So it's four against three right now. Olaf is out of position. He's under a very low HP tower. They could just go in and dive the tower. They could just go in and dive the tower. Chums the waters on Olaf, but not enough damage. I come back to life. Let's see what's going on. Trindamir manages to get the tower, and now he's going after Olaf. Slows Olaf, even though he used Ghost Walk, and after him. There we go. Very nice indeed. Ultimate by Trindamir, and another kill for Trindamir. Trindamir, a very, very powerful hero with the new talents, like I might have to say. Oh, the, great. Not that much. Okay, is this the angle? No. No. Okay, is this the angle? I hate it when I change the angle of the game. Okay. There's a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. We're gonna stick to this one. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stick to this one. I hate it when I change the angle of the game. So, um, yeah, Trindamir is quite powerful. Even my friend um, did say that he is very, very powerful indeed. And there we go. We're gonna go after Caitlyn. I ulti her. She has no flash. She's gonna die. And I get a kill. Finally, I get a kill. I'm very quite negative right now. I have 2, 4, 8. As you can see, a ba your, basic, um, <laughs> your basic support hero score right there. Basic support hero score, no, very little kills, maybe a little bit more deaths, but a lot of assists. And I'm not happy with that because usually my revenue, since I don't have that much good, uh, that good creep farm, my revenue is usually based on those kills I take. And there's Olaf, and we're taking the blue buff right there, and Olaf's gonna die. There's no chance he's getting away from he this. So yeah, Olaf died there. Will fizz? Will fizz? Will he get away? Yep, here comes Fizz, here comes Fizz to try and get the kill on Karthus. Manages to get the kill on Karthus, but he dies as well. So, yeah, still worth it for us. Well, he, we, he did manage, Fizz did manage to end the kill streak right there, but still. We did get a kill, and Trindamir is very powerful right now. 9-3-2, that is a massive score for Trindamir. That is a massive score for Trindamir. Um, at this point in the game. So he's becoming fed, and Trinomir, as you know, is a very, very nice carry, and ulti right in her face, and managed, managed to get a rumble as well, and I get a kill, and Jidicus gets a kill as well, so double kill for us there, no point, and we get a tower, so very, very good, as you can see, the kill discrepancies between the team is largely, is very fastly growing, and we're just gonna go back, there's no real point in staying here, we're low health, we got the kills, we got the towers, I wanna go back and get some magic resist finally, I only have Mercury threads as magic resist, and they have a lot of magic uh, damage right now, so... If I was to decide to go in there, yeah, um, nothing would happen. Uh, if I was to decide to go in there, nothing would happen. Jumps the waters, jumps the waters, getting hit by Olaf, flashes out. Will he die? Oh my God! It managed. Jump. Uh, Chums the water. Fizz managing to get away just in time. Karthus cu coming in for the save with the wall of pain. I believe it's the wall of pain or something like that. I haven't played Karthus in a long time. I own him, haven't played him. So there's Karthus just going in there, no problem. There comes Fizz. But Karthus right now has, let's see, 255 ability power. That's not that much. That's not that much ability power, but he has a lot of damage. But right now, there's no point in actually pushing. There's a dragon alive. We want that dragon. We need that dragon. As you can see, I have a Negatron Cloak and a Regrowth Pendant working on my uh, Force of Nature. Because, well, hell, why the hell not? I want a Force of Nature. Force of Nature is really good, and because of the movement speed, and because of the awesome, awesome magic resist. And the health regen. Force of Nature is a powerful item. So we're going here after Caitlyn. There she is. 
There goes Trinamir tower diving like a boss. She gets slowed. She managed. She gets critted for half health. She flashes away. I flash after her ulti and do her in with all my skills, which is was a complete ulti waste, I know. But hey, I really want revenge for her for getting away, um, from getting away from me, from dodging my flash a little bit earlier. So yeah, there comes three heroes. So we do a lot of damage, and there a lot of damage, especially AOE damage from. Um, Carthus, we get another kill and will we get Fizz and will Fizz die? Fizz does die! So we lose two people, but I get two kills. Uh, actually, did I get two kills? No, Jijikas got double kill, I got a kill, and Jijikas died, and I got a buff. So, at the end of the day, still worth it. Still worth it. I'm basically happy right now, because um, I believe that got me onto positive. Yes, that got me onto positive. As you can see, Olaf is starting to be a whiny little baby! Trindamir and Karthus, most skilled combo! You're an idiot! Trindamir is very hard to play! Take it from someone who I've who has played Trindamir. Take it from someone who knows someone that plays Trindamir. Trindamir is hard to play! He is a very squishy champion. He is easily taken out of a fight. One silence, one suppress, timed very well, and you take Trindamir out of the fight. Compared to other AD carries such as Caitlyn or Corky uh, that stay in range, Trindamir has to get in there. And he cannot risk taking uh, life items such as <laughs> Xin Chao might. No, and there's an Olaf. We're doing a little bit of damage on Olaf right here. We're gonna find him at the buff. Fizz is not coming in, but there comes Fizz using the ulti. Will Olaf get away? Olaf using his ulti to get away, and he does get away, but Fizz is gonna die right here. Olaf, oh, our Fizz dying, but nah, we traded a Fizz for a Fizz. Another kill for Trindamir, which is good. Sadly, no ulti for me because I did use it on what's-his-face. As you can see, Fizz is asking Trindamir to deinstall because... God, it's so hard to avoid Trindamir, you know? Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, Trindamir is doing awesome right now. Well, he's been fed and he's a carry. He's been fed and he's a carry. Let's see Trindamir's score. Uh, now it's 14 and 4. That is a very nice score for a Trindamir. And as you know, Trindamir can have a lot of crit damage uh, because of his... Um, because of his... Uh, how he works. Because of his, because of his, how he works. I love it when the English language gets the better of me. So, Trinomir is doing awesome. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's being a carry. I'm being a tank, as you can see. 5, 4, and 13 assists. So, we're just spending time in their forest. For no real reason. I mean, there we go. Another level for me. Managed to get to level 15. Do we find anybody? Nobody on the top lane. Nobody on the top lane. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Karthus is falling a little bit back. Will this tower fall? I don't know. It seems to have full HP, but yeah, we never know. And meanwhile, we have a little bit of a team fight coming here. <coughs> and so as you can see, we're, we're waiting. Should we fight? No, we're actually going to fall back in this situation, sadly. Even though I'm pretty sure that me and Trinda could have taken them, could have taken Olaf and... Uh, whoa, that is a lot of people coming after us. Okay, we wouldn't have taken that. So we're running away. There's no point in us fighting. Um, Twisted Fate uses his ulti there for scouting. He hoped that we were in a brush so they could jump on us, but we weren't there. I'm just gonna use my walking abilities into Caitlyn's trap, and I'm just walking around, walking around. On the bottom lane, we have Fizz and Kothas taking out another tower, which is really good for us. As you can see, we've only lost one tower and taken down three, and it's a 30 to 19 score. As you can see, a little bit of a um, chat going there. And we are, oh my god, we just got hit by an axe. We just got hit <laughs> by an axe, but we don't care. We're just gonna do this this uh, golem. Well, I'm gonna do him because I want the cooldown reduction. Cooldown reduction is awesome, even though I already have 37% cooldown reduction, but this gives me 40% a little bit, little bit of ability power. So there we go, Trinamir chasing down Olaf, and ulti on two people, and take him out. So very nice indeed, one kill for Misfortune, one kill for Trinamir, so no real problems whatsoever there. Sadly, the tower decides that I'm a good target, but I go away and we take another target tower down. So that is makes four towers for us, only two for them at this point, and we have the kill advantage. We have a very quite big kill advantage, and we're just fighting, as you can see, more combat um, 
uh, more chat from the Olaf who says that don't pick champions that you don't need skill for, said the Olaf. Olaf is not that hard, you just run. The only other champion that I know that you don't need that much skill to play with is Singed. Because Singed, you run. That, that's all you do with Singed, you run. Other than that, and Olaf, is, it's the same. Olaf, oh look, activate skill, hit thing. Activate skill, hit thing. I'm not saying he's that easy to play, he's actually hard. But, there we go, managing to get a kill on there, but I come in there, and we do manage to get a little bit of more damage. A kill for Trindamir, because why not? A kill for Misfortune, sadly Misfortune died, and I got a little bit more assists. No kills again, and this is so lame. And this is what I, this is what I wanted to uh, point out earlier. Remember when I said that 15 minutes in, the only people that I've been fighting, uh, and Trindamir's been fighting, has been... Um, What's what you call it? Olaf and Rumble. Well, apparently he says that we got fed in a two versus one lane. Now you guys have just seen the game. Scroll back. If I remember, we got a kill. We died both. Then we got another kill. Then I died, or something like that. Basically, the early phases of the game were not that. Were not based on. On that many kills, we were just fighting. So I'm getting another blue buff to refresh my blue buff. So yeah, apparently Olaf ganked three times. Yeah, but see, he died there, so he's the one that fed. As uh, if you're wondering uh, what I'm saying right now, uh, I'm basically saying I'm uploading this to YouTube, and I am because Olaf is being a crybaby, Fizz is being a crybaby, and guess what? Don't be a crybaby on the internet. Have manners. If you're play, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Oh god, stupid cough. If you're playing worse than the other team, and to be said, Olaf played really well. To be, If you're playing worse, don't mouth off on somebody's hero choice, because they're not playing an overpowered hero that just came out. Uh, Fizz is not that, but you know, overpowered heroes that come out today. And I ulti in, I ulti in, and I do a lot of damage. I do damage, because I have to do damage. And I get a kill there on Twisted Fate. And I take a lot of hits, but I don't care. I have a lot of armor, and I have the force of nature. And there comes Fizz to attack me. I don't care. Flash out. Trindamir comes in for the kill, and Trindamir goes in. Trindamir, Trindamir. Does Trindamir get another kill? No, Karthus manages to get the kill. I'm being chased down by Olaf. Olaf gets the kill on me, but Trindamir gets the kill on Olaf and uh, actually Fizz got the kill on Olaf and so right now I'm actually laughing because the game is pretty much over the difference in kills and the fact that Trundamir has been so overly fed it basically means the end of the game basically means that these <laughs> that these guys have no chance um, but the point is if you're being outplayed don't cry about it because the end the start of the game Nobody fed. The start of the game was actually balanced. You saw it. I showed you. They were actually an advantage. They had six kills to three hours. They had damn it. They had the opportunity. They had the upper hand. And Trindamir and they just didn't capitalize on it. And Tr as I said, Trindamir is not an overpowered hero that just came out. This is what Riot does sometimes. Riot does bring out overpowered heroes, so you buy them and you get a couple of easy wins for the first week until they nerf him. And some people like that. Some people are. Some people enjoy that. Some people, that's what they do. Hey, I'm gonna pay real life money to get a hero with skins and to get a couple of cheap victories because this hero is completely overpowered, and that's what people do. Sometimes that doesn't happen, and there comes Trindamir jumping in their entire team. How many kills does he get? There's one kill. Does he get two? Does he get two? Olaf does. Does Olaf manage to get away? Oh, come on, Trindamir! No, only one kill, sadly. Only one kill, and there's. Garthus with the kill on Olaf. Very nice indeed. And this is me imitating Darth Vader. No, Trindamir died. It doesn't really matter at this point. So yeah, Olaf apparently thinks that that suicide was not intentional. This is how much of an asshole he was in this game, and we're just making fun of him. Uh, as somebody that gets uh, very annoyed in League of Legends, one thing that I don't do is when I lose, when I lose on my fault, or I don't go and 
blame the other team. If the other team has played better than me, good for them. I blame the people who have played subpar. And so Fizz is trying to attack me. There's an ultimate. I get eaten by a shark. But ah, you're not getting away. You're not. Nope, you're not getting away. You're not getting away from a malphite. Malphite at this point, I have a lot of armor, I do a lot of damage, uh, 300 something damage on my ground slam, so yeah, I just don't, I don't care at this point who's gonna hit me. And because of um, force of nature, I'm almost full HP again. So I'm just spamming, spamming skills right now. Um, the only person, I, Olaf probably could take me, probably. Uh, if I was full mana and had every single summoner spell and all that, he probably couldn't. But at the end of the day, yeah. Um, here comes Trinamir from behind, we're ready to jump and probably this is 43 to 24, almost double. If we get, uh, how many kills? Five? Yes, five more kills, we are gonna be on double. Five kills without anybody dying, that's gonna be hard. And very nice jump from Trindamir. I don't ulti in because I need two more seconds. And they're gonna jump after me, they're gonna jump after me. Will they do? There's a lot of incoming damage from Karthus! And I, we get another kill! And there's another kill! Will we get more kills? Will we get more kills? I spam everything! Oh no! We lost somebody! I believe we lost somebody! Yes, we lost somebody because they're on 25 and Rumble does manage to get away. I don't have any more mana, I don't have any more mana, I can't fight. So it's me versus Fizz and Rumble. Fizz actually has a lot of mana, but I don't have any mana. I, I'm useless at this point. I can sit there and take it, but I can't hit. And I go in and poof, just hit him with my fist. And I scored an ace with a melee attack. And uh, So uh, Fizz is asking me to end. I'm not going to end. I'm not gonna end. Usually I end. Usually I end at this point, but frankly, they have been assholes. Picking on Trindamir for picking a hero that has been out since God knows when. Since God knows when. And they're not able to take him out of the fight. I've fought against Trindamir countless times. I know how to fight him. If you can't take Trindamir out, at the end of the day, if you can't take the AD carry out of your opponent's team, you're gonna die. That's what the AD carry does. Kill you. Surprise, the AD carry is doing damage. Who would have sunk? So yeah, we're just... I'm gonna go in there right now. This is probably gonna be the last fight of the game because, yeah... Um, the game is over. You've realized who uh, who won. You've realized why I've uploaded this, this video. <coughs> video. One, to explain why I haven't been uploading th things because commentary with coughs is not that fun. And secondly, because I really wanted to point out that um, this guy, no, wait, wait, where's Fizz? Asternius, Asternius, and Ryuk are two big assholes. Two very big assholes. And there's my ulti right on Fizz. Fizz is gonna die. Rawr, 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 rawr. But I don't get the kill. Misfortune gets the kill. So good for her. I don't even know what items Misfortune has. Come here. Hmm, hmm, decent. Not that good, but decent. So, here comes Rumble. Oh, Rumble, you wanna fight? Come on, come on, I have... Oh, Chum's the water right there, Chum's the water. Will he die? Will he die? He gets ignited. Will he die? Oh, flashes out, flashes out. I do not flash after him, sadly. I could have flashed after him, and there comes Caitlyn. Caitlyn is doing a lot of damage, because as you can see, he, she has very nice items, but that doesn't really matter. I flash into her. She manages to get away. I slow her, and there's Carthus Salty managing to do a shitload of damage. Pardon my French, but that's a lot of damage from a Carthus Salty. And here comes I'm Strindamir, and I come with, with, look at my HP, look at my HP, I'm still standing here, I'm just being annoying, come on, you want to kill me, I know you want to kill me, chase me, chase me, I know you want to chase me, and slowing him up, I'm slowed, but he's slowed, and Trindamir coming in there, just doing a lot of damage, I come in as well, using the ulti on their AD team, just using a lot of damage, I still don't die, as you can see, I've regained a lot of health thanks to um, Force of Nature, chasing everything, Karthus doing a tremendous amount of damage to Fizz, tremendous, look at his life going down, and actually Fizz does die, here comes Caitlyn chasing after me, will she get the kill, will she get the kill, ah, she does manage to get the kill there, she does manage to get the kill, so it takes a lot of, a lot of, to actually kill me, but I believe that this is the end. <laughs> this is the end. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Ryu Zaki and Asternius, if you see them on League of Legends uh, Europe West, call them assholes because that's what they are. Thank you for watching and... <laughs>
<laughs> Video production will resume as soon as I'm not coughing like an idiot anymore. See ya guys.